Hey girls, it's Shanoria Bonte, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to get this look. This is my natural glam look that I do whenever I'm going somewhere, like if I'm going out to the club or if I'm going anywhere special. If I'm putting on makeup, this is the look I'm doing. This is my natural glam that I do whenever I go out, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do it from beginning to end, how I got my bright under eye, how I do my blush everything i explained it thoroughly so i hope you guys stick around and learn how to get this look okay so today i am filming a natural glam um beginners friendly makeup tutorial and this is just gonna be like what I do when I go out, like my natural glam go out look. I don't really have an everyday look because I don't wear makeup every day, but this is my like natural I'm going out look. So yeah, let's get into it. First I take my glasses off because if you know, you know, I am blind, okay? I can't see, I'm blind, blind. Okay, so let's hurry up and get into it before my camera die. Um, first, we're going to start off with the e.l.f. Um, niacinamide. Just a disclaimer, throughout the video, you will see that both of my nails are broke. Please do not judge me. I was well overdue for a nail appointment. My Power Grip Primer. Um, I love this primer. I don't... I used to use milk, but I feel like I like this one better. And actually, let me put my hair up in a claw clip before I start because I don't really want no hair in my face. That's annoying. But yeah, my face has already been cleaned and moisturized for day. If you watch my vlog, you will see that. Um, this will probably be out before my vlog, so. But yeah, I already did my skincare for the day, so I'm literally just gonna go in with the primer. And I like to like pat and rub. I don't know, I don't really have a rhyme or reason to what I do. Just get it on your face. I seen one lady say that you're supposed to only do one pass of it, so whatever whatever gets it on your face just use primer primer is important because it helps your makeup stick to your face and last all night as well as um it protects your skin so it puts a barrier between your skin and the makeup so that you won't break out and of course nobody wants to break out ever after wearing makeup you're wearing makeup you know to enhance your beauty you don't want to take away from your beauty also if you see me looking down it's because i have a mirror down here so that's why I'm looking down. But don't mind me. I'm gonna try my best to look up as well while I'm talking to you guys about doing my makeup. But yeah, just spray the primer everywhere. This is always the first step to your makeup. You want to put on primer. You never want to leave the house without primer because you'll probably break out if you do that. And that's not cute. We don't want to break out. So yeah, as y'all can see, I don't know why I'm putting on so much like I'm going somewhere, but you want the primer on your face. You see how it's sticking? That's what you want. So that's what I'm doing. Get under those eyes because, of course, you're going to put a lot of concealer under there because you do want to conceal under your eyes. That's the main part you want to conceal. Okay, so after I use my primer... I was one of those girls that was trying to get into doing my eyebrows the last... But for beginner's purposes, I believe that you should start with your eyebrows first because I am stuttering so bad. For beginner's purposes, I believe that you should start with your eyebrows first because it's easier to start with your eyebrows first because that's kind of your guideline to your whole face. Like, honestly, that's the most important part to your face. Like, if nothing else looks good, at least your eyebrows look good. So we're going to start with eyebrows. I'm going to show you the product I use for my eyebrows. Um, This is the pencil that I use is the L'Oreal and it's fresh out the pack. I just ordered this from Amazon. We'll link it in my Amazon storefront if it's already not there. Um, but this is my favorite pencil over everything. I've used a lot of pencils, NYX, I've used Ulta, I use, I use a lot of pencils, but this one is my favorite. And this is a drugstore pencil. It's the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I use the color Dark Brunette. And um, yeah, this is my favorite pencil. I like to use pencil. Um, sometimes I fill in with pomade if I feel like I need it, but pencil gives you that natural, like sparse look that you're going for. So I like pencil. That's my thing. Um, and also, I'm going to.
gonna show you guys two different brow products you could use, but I'm gonna tell you guys what I like better. So, you can either use NYX, and this is the NYX, the brow glue. Um, I used this a couple of times. I feel like this works better when your eyebrows are done or like when you have tamed eyebrows. I don't get my eyebrows done, but my eyebrows are pretty tamed like on their own. So like I use it from time to time, but this right here, the Kiss Lash Glue, the Clear Strip Lash Adhesive, baby, this is my girl. Any type of clear lash glue, that is going to have your eyebrows lasting all night. Like, your eyebrows are not going to go anywhere. I'm going to use the glue because I live by the glue. Like, I feel like that's the best thing you can use. So, I'm going to use the Kiss Lash Glue on mine. First, I'm going to start by brushing my eyebrows up. So, I'm going to brush them up. So, yeah, that's like so. We're just brushing up. And then, I like to take my finger, kind of smooth them out, and brush like down if that makes sense just so it makes the eyebrow shape that i want so this is just me like trying to tame them before i even start so that i know where the direction of my hairs are going and then i'm going to take the glue and i am going to put it on my brows like not too much and i kind of like to put it in direction of the hair so that makes sense and don't use too much because the residue from the glue and like you know when you use a glue stick and like kind of like the residue of the glue starts like moving around that's what will happen if you use too much and then like you're gonna have it in the way of like your foundation and stuff and you don't want to deal with that and then like to set the glue in place i push down like kind of like how you do with your edges you push down and you brush at the same time so i'm pushing down and i'm brushing and then i like to get the hair at the top to just go down so that's easy for me to fill my brow in so yeah, and then the hair in the front, I like to push it up because my hair in the front is shorter, so I can push it up so that like it won't be out of place. But the hair on the sides, I kind of have to brush down so that it will go in place so that I can fill my brow in. So that's how it looks after I do that. I'm going to do the other side now. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Um, and just some background knowledge, if this is your first time here, or if you like don't follow any of my other socials, I was a makeup artist in college for like my last year of college. Um, and so yeah, I was an MUA for a little bit. I learned how to do my makeup from watching YouTube. So hopefully this helps somebody else. Um, I've been doing my own makeup since I went to college. Well, since the summer before I went to college, which was like 2016. So I've been doing makeup since 2016 on myself. I started doing makeup on other people probably like, that might have been like 2022, 2021. So yeah, actually I was doing makeup on other people in my dorm, on my line sister in my dorm. So technically like 2017, but like professionally and charging people, 2022. So that's my background. So I'm to be trusted <laughs> when it comes to makeup. Um, yeah so that's just my background with makeup follow me on tiktok i make a lot of makeup videos so anyways so i'm gonna start my brows so took it off now i'm gonna show you kind of the motion i do i like to in the front go up and then when i get to the sides go to the side but you make stroke like motions and really short one because you want it to look hair like that's what makes the illusion of like a sparse brow but i'm going to show you what to do to guide your brows in the right direction so you know what shape you're going for before you start filling in so i like to fill in the bottom so i start at the front fill in the bottom and just fill in your natural brow um sometimes i do suggest that people like make their own brow if that makes sense if their brows don't have a shape mine do so i could kind of just follow my natural brow and then like i make a line at the top too sometimes the pencil breaks so just bear with that that's annoying but it happens um but i like to go on the top too and create like my little arch i don't like the over arch i just want my brows to look like my brows that's it I want my brows to look like my brows if I added a little bit of a tint or something. Or if I like got them laminated. That's the whole point of brows today. You want them to look laminated. I was going to try this new product that really makes them look laminated. But I think I'm going to do that in another video. Because this is a beginner's video. We're going to take it light and just use a pencil. So like I said, you just following your natural brow for real. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm following my natural brow. Most people do brows off camera. But because this is a beginner video... 
I'm going to give it to y'all raw and show y'all beginning to end the process of doing your makeup, how long it takes. I don't know if I'm going to speed up anything because I want you guys to really get the full grasp of how long makeup really takes. A good face really takes if you take your time. Because some people think makeup is just such an easy, like, oh, I'm going to sit down, do my makeup. You can do your makeup in like 20 minutes once you get good if you're trying to do a good face. Some people do their makeup in 15 minutes. But once when you're first starting and you don't know what you're doing, it can take anywhere from an hour to two hours, babe. So just sit tight. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still just following those lines. And then I like to brush them out if I feel like they're getting too dark or I feel like they just need to look more hair light. I like to brush the product, not out, but like brush it into my brows, if that makes sense. And it makes the product look more faded so that your brows aren't extra dark. Um, with brows, just know that they don't have to be perfect because your natural brows are 9 times out of 10 not perfect. Like everybody says, your brows are cousins, not sisters. You can make them like... You can make them like real close cousins, but 9 times out of 10, your brows are not going to be perfect. They are literally... Something's going to be wrong. You're not going to like something, but those are your brows. What can you do? That's how God made your brows, so... I know people like to alter, thinking they can alter their face with makeup. It's only so much altering you could do, love. Just saying. So, I'm still going to do the same thing. Do the guideline where I do the bottom, then I do the top. And then fill it in. I'm going to do the same thing. And then, as you can see, like, right here, I kind of have a little brow missing. I don't know why, but it's just missing. So, if you want to make it darker, you kind of just, like... Start pressing down and go straight on instead of like, you know how I've been doing it to the side real sparse? You want to go straight down so that line is prominent because I do want that line to be more prominent since I don't have no hair there. But you can still see like I'm trying to do it in hair like show. So I'm still doing short strokes, but I'm pressing down harder so that you can see it more. So when you want it to be like more sparse, you're going to press down real soft like in the front. That's where you want it to be more sparse and you don't want it to be like extra crazy that's where you're gonna press like real light but in the back you want to press hard you really want the tail of your brows to be darker than any other place on your brow so that's why i press harder towards the back and ooh, see the more you let this pencil out the more it breaks so i try to not keep too much out but sometimes it's inevitable it's just gonna break on me that's the only thing I think that bothers me about this pencil. It, it's easy to break, but that's any pencil, honestly. All those pencils, all the pencils on the market, they kind of break easy, in my opinion. That's why I was such like a pomade girl for a long time. But I noticed that this makes my eyebrows look way more um, natural. So that's why I started using pencil. And one of these brows to me is darker than the other, but I'm just going to brush until it looks less dark. That's pretty much like how you kind of get that darkness to go away. So I'm going to brush until it gets less dark. We're going to use Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm going to use Tan Sand. And what I like to do, because I like it to be thin under my brows, I like to apply it under there, if that makes sense. Like right up under there. And then like work my way, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna apply it under, cause I think that's easier. And notice how I didn't apply it like right under. I'm applying it like close to, but not like on the perimeter because I'm gonna kind of use the brush to bring it up. So I'm gonna take it across and I start in the back and then make my way to the front. So I'm gonna take it across and see how it's like a lighter concealer. I want it to be lighter under my brows. I like dramatic looks, like dramatic, like concealer. I like bright under eyes. So if the, you're not that type of girl, if you don't want your makeup to look beat, then I don't know what to tell you, but I like mine really bright. And y'all, y'all see how I'm already messing up, but it's okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how to fix stuff when you mess up. Okay, here we are. I got my blush um, mirror and I'm gonna try to do it in the mirror. So you want to go slow, bring it down. See that? Slow and bring it down, then bring it to the front. I'm going to be careful because I went too fast on the last bra, which is why I messed up. 
I'm gonna take it slow. See, I got too comfortable. You can't get too comfortable. So yeah, that was easy, see? I think because I couldn't see, that also made it a little worse for me trying to do this. But I'm probably going to add some more concealer because I feel like this isn't mm, bright enough for me. Not, It's not bright enough, but it's not. I want it to be a little bit more full coverage under there. So I'm going to add a little bit more concealer. Like right here. And y'all, I got lashes, so it makes it harder to do your eyebrows when you have your lashes done. I'm not going to lie. Because you're trying not to get too much product on your lashes. Because that will cause your lashes to fall out. Because it's oily makeup. Let me slow down. Because I almost messed up. Yeah, because it's oily makeup. That will cause like your lashes to be messed up. If you get too much makeup on your lashes. So, And it also doesn't look good at the end. When you have too much makeup on your lashes. So I am trying to keep it cute. And I really hope y'all can see like what I'm doing for real. Mm-hmm. Take your time. Do it right. Do it, baby. Do it tonight. Take your time. Let me take the pencil. And some people don't even fill in the top of their brows. That's how good that is. Like, you have to be real good and not fill in the top. And also, make sure your face is relaxed when you're doing this. Because I find myself, like, my face don't be relaxed. And that'll cause me, like, mess up. Because, like, you're moving your face too much. Ooh, I'm about to get a lash brush because this is about to make me mad. I need a pencil. I need a pencil, my dog. I need a pencil so I can write on this Gantron. Lash brush. Um, brush my lash, y'all, because they about to make me mad. So, I'm going to pat the product in. And patting makes it, like, more full coverage. I feel like it's better when you pat instead of like swipe because swipe I feel like first of all it leaves like uh, um like you see the strokes if you like swipe so I like to pat and then it makes it go into your skin more when you pat it's easier to pat and blend than it is to like swipe and blend so you want to do it in patting motions okay so now we're gonna go back to this brow now that we've gotten this one together like i said my problem brow is this one i don't know why you would think it's easier because it's on my right side and i'm right handed but maybe that's why it's harder because it's so close so yeah i'm gonna try to fix this because i i botched this i botched this bad so yeah so i have blended out i have blended out the bottom of my brows i'm also going to take a little bit of that concealer Put it in the front of my brow so it gives like that um faded look. You don't never want the front of your brows to be extra harsh. So I fade them out like this. That's how I do it. I don't know how anybody else does it, but that's how I do it. And I also like to take the brush and reinforce the front of the brow so you just know that it's defined. And yeah, that's how I do my brows, y'all. Um... I'm probably going to do the top with foundation. So that's why I haven't touched the top yet. Because I like for the top to be like the same color as my face. So now I'm going to use foundation. I'm going to use my favorite foundation. I like the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Um, This is usually people use Natural Radiant. I like that one too. But it's crazy. I like that one. Like what other people have used it on my face when I got my makeup done. But I don't own that one. I own this one. And I also like the, um, this is the Soft Matte Foundation by NARS. This is also really good. But my favorite is Light Reflecting just because I feel like it looks more skin-like. And not that I like my makeup matte, but I like my foundation to look at my skin. That makes sense. So yeah, this is my favorite one. I have it in the color Macau. And that one is in... The soft matte is in the color Cadiz. So I'm like a caramelly, like brown tone. So yeah, that's what I use. Um, so if you're my color Cadiz and Macau. Macau in um, Natural Radiant is also my color too. I like Macau in, natural, in the Natural Radiant NARS. Yes, I have upgraded the NARS. I used to be a Maybelline girl. But I was like, let me grow up. And y'all see how much this looks skin, like skin. And on camera, it looks orange, but I swear in person, it's not. It's not orange at all. It looks just like my skin, honestly. So I like to put it on with a brush. You could pump it on, whatever you like to do, you could do that. 
I put it on with a brush because I feel like it makes me use less product. So yeah, I put a little bit on my forehead because I don't want my forehead to have like a lot of product. I don't like a lot of product on my forehead, especially because normally I would have on a wig. So with a wig, I keep as much, I keep as much product off my forehead as possible with a wig. So yeah, that's probably why I don't put a lot of product on my forehead normally. But I don't have a wig right now, so I should be good. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I conceal the top. I conceal the top with my foundation because it looks more natural. Like I said, I don't like a lot of product on my forehead, so I like to keep it minimal. So I'm just gonna take like, it's a similar type of brush as the one I use to clean it under, and I'm gonna clean the top with this. It's not the same brush, but it's very similar, so yeah. I just like to go and follow the direction of my brows. It's nothing crazy. This is easier than the bottom because you just going straight across, like literally. Yeah. Just like that, boom, I'm gonna take the other side and do the same thing. Kind of have to hold your arm a certain way too. Cause I'm right handed, so it's kind of harder. But yeah, you just take it straight down. You ain't doing nothing crazy. Nothing extravagant yeah and then you just take the rest and just put it across your face yep y'all see that now my eyebrows is clean on the top baby and now this is another trick i like to use um this is not my final setting spray but this is the one i use in between because i like to use my less expensive setting spray for in between this is gonna make your makeup last all night because I'm not going nowhere, I'm not going to spray as much as I usually do. But I like to spray in between. So I spray in between. And this is going to help me blend out my makeup. I like to use the Instapop Real Techniques brush. I'm a Real Techniques girl. You can see it's kind of slanted and it's flat. I just push it into my skin. And this makes the foundation look more full coverage. You push into your skin to blend out and to make it look more coverage. And then by pushing, it kind of makes it look more, um, it makes it look more full coverage when you use a brush too. Like a lot of people like use beauty blenders, but they don't realize that beauty blenders take away product. Cause the whole point of beauty blenders is to blend and to blend more and make it look more skin like you have to take away product. So that's why it takes away product and the water helps it takes, take away the product too. So that's why it's better to use brushes than use a sponge in my opinion. Um, that's just me though but you will hear a lot of people say that they like brushes better because brushes just make it more full coverage i'd rather use a brush any day so that's what i do i try not to put too much product like directly under my eyes because i'm about to add so much um of the concealer under my eyes because that's where you really want a lot of concealer so i don't do too much you could bring it down your neck if you feel like you need it i feel like i need it because I don't know. I'm a little two-tone, y'all. I'm a little two-tone, so I take it down. You want a damp beauty blender, so squeeze the water out, y'all. Squeeze the water out. Um, This is from Amazon, too. I probably have this already linked in my storefront, but if not, it will be linked in my storefront. And I'm just going to pat the areas that I feel like are a little too cakey for me. Like I said, this takes away product, so I just pat. Pat, pat, pat. And then I also like to pat around my laugh lines because that's where I want a lot of product. I don't want a lot of product around my laugh lines. Because if you have a lot of product in the area where you have creases, it'll enhance the creases. So that's just a little tidbit. And I'm going to take it down my nose. Take it on my forehead a little bit. I'm so happy I don't have on a wig because I don't have to worry about the lace. So usually I wouldn't really even touch my forehead like this, y'all. But because I don't have on a lace... You guys are getting my real, like, unfiltered makeup tutorial where I don't have to worry about my lace. I don't have to worry about touching it. Now, I'm going to take Born This Way in Latte, in the color Latte. And I am going to take that and put that underneath my eyes. This is my, I like a yellow tone for underneath my um eyes. Listen, that's just me. You do you. But that's just me and I like to take it like and put it like in a kind of triangle shape 
and I don't take it too far down because I want it to all stay up here. This is the part I want bright in. I take it right here on my cupid's bow, on my chin. Then I take it down my nose, and I like to make a thin line down my nose, like as thin as possible and as straight as possible. Cause I'm serious about my nose contour. I don't play. And I take like three lines at the top where my um forehead is. I don't take it too far up, just like right there where the light hits. And I am gonna actually blend out the corners of this with the foundation brush I use. So the brush I use to blend out my foundation, I'm also gonna use that to blend the corners of my concealer because that helps me blend the concealer into my skin more. So you see, I'm just taking it on the corners. That's it. Corners. Corners. Corners, y'all. Corners. <laughs> y'all are like, why did y'all keep screaming at me? Corners, baby. Okay, you see that? Boom. That's it. So I took it on the corners. So you see how they help me blend out? I don't touch my nose. Not touching my nose yet. Mm -mm. We're going to leave that alone. So now I'm going to let like underneath and I feel like I need a little bit more right here. So I'm going to put some more like right here and I'm going to let that sit to let it dry a little bit. So when I blend it out, it's full coverage. When you let your concealer dry, it gets more full coverage. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to spray because why not? Why not? Um, and then I'm going to take my contour, which is not really a contour stick. It's a foundation stick, but I use it to contour because it can double as that. So I use like, I also want to say, sorry, while I'm on this, y'all, my mind be moving a mile a minute. So bear with me. Um, I also want to say when you're using concealers, you want to use something that's two shades lighter or three shades lighter. I'm more of a three shades lighter girl because I'm dramatic. I also, I'm gonna show you another trick to bright your under eye. If you're a real bright under eye type of girl, I'm gonna show y'all what I do. If you follow me on TikTok, you already seen this, but this is for y'all. Y'all want a detailed tutorial, so I'm gonna break it down. So yeah, I would suggest two to three shades lighter. If you're one of those people, you like your makeup real natural, I'm probably not the girl for you. <laughs> Because I like my makeup to look like I just got beat to the guys. And I'm going to fashion week. So, sorry. But, yeah. And then your contour. You probably want that one to two shades darker. I don't like my contour real, real dark. Because I use my bronzer to make my skin more bronze. And I use the black opal. And let me show you guys one that's not messed up. I have dropped that so many times. Um, I use the black opal. Um, foundation stick. You could buy these at Walmart, um, Ulta, I believe, Target, anywhere. Black Opal foundation stick. I use the color, um, y'all, the color gone. I want to say it was some type of almond something, but y'all can see the color. It's just like something real. It's like two shades darker than me. That's it. Nothing major. Um, now I like to take another brush that's by Instapot. This is like a cheek brush. It's kind of like a smaller version. It says 405 on the front, so whatever that means. I forgot the name of it, but it's like an angled cheek brush. And I use this for my contour. It's like a smaller version of the foundation brush. So yeah, it's just a smaller version. I take that and I rub it across the foundation stick. I used to just apply it on my face. But I don't like all that product on my face anymore. So I just apply it with the brush. And I just like to take it down like from my ear to like the middle of my face. I don't take it all the way down because that's too much. Like you don't want to take it all the way to your corner. You want to stop like right at the middle of your eye. See that? Like that. And like I said, I take it down. Um, I don't know if because it's the summertime, I done got too dark for this. But I might need to use a darker color. So I think I'm going to use Black Walnut. This is the darker shade. And I'm probably going to use that one for my nose contour. So I'm going to take this Black Walnut. And Black Walnut is like really dark. Oh no, y'all. I done got dark. That's what that is. So Black Walnut is probably my summer contour shade. So I'm going to take that down my cheek. Right up here with it. Because my cheeks are kind of high. So yeah, I'm going to take it up there. And then I'm going to take some down like the side of my jaw to snatch my jaw up. Because we you want your jaw snatched, baby. You want it real snatched. 
and then I love to take it on my forehead and yeah because you want your forehead to look small girl yeah like we trying to give a small girl small forehead okay so now I'm gonna take my foundation brush and blend that in so it's not as dark and so it blends in with everything else so we're just gonna blend that in see that boom and it's so easy to blend in because all you gotta do is pat it a few times and it's blended then you just take it and pat it you pat it like you've been doing the whole time nothing different you just pat it. see boom then you want to take this and kind of bring it down see that bring it down bring it down see that boom and you done snatched that contour in. So now we're going to blend out that under eye concealer finally because it's a little dry. So it's going to be real full coverage. So I'm going to pat underneath my eye and like bring it down a little bit, but not too much. So pat, bring it out a little bit. See that? See how it's not really moving too much? And that's because we let it dry. Oh. And then you want to pat this like into the corner because you want that corner to be kind of bright. So when you do your nose contour, babe. It's gonna bring that nose in. It's gonna bring it in. And hey, you wanna look up while you blend it too. So you could really get under there. And also letting it dry too helps with like it not creasing. Cause that's a big problem that people have is creasing. So you wanna let it dry cause that helps with the concealer not creasing. And then that looks better as you go through the night. I'm gonna pat down here by my chin. I don't bring that out too much. I just keep it right here in the center. And I want to blend that some more as I go, like with the foundation brush, because I don't want it to be too bright down there. You just want a little bit of highlight. You don't want it to be too much. Where your main highlight should focus is down here. Literally, down here. Under your eyes. When I say down here, I mean under your eyes. So I'm still patting. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Boom, chocolate locker. I need to hurry up, because this thing going to die. So I'm patting, I'm patting. And I'm so happy I let it dry cause you, it's so much more full coverage than if you would have tried to blend it out right then and there. It's so much more full coverage. Like you will see the difference if you don't let it dry versus when you do. If you ever do try that method, you will see a difference. And I'm just patting, 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 patting. Y'all see like how it just brought my face like, it made it so bright, like I look awake. And then I'm just gonna take across the nose since I let that dry too, just to blend it out a little bit more. I'm not gonna blend it out completely because I still want that brightness from my nose contour to be right there, but I'm gonna just pat it a little bit. And then I'm gonna take it across the top too, right there, not too much, keep it right there. You don't want your, cause when you bring too much light to your forehead, it makes it a little bit. So you wanna keep it right in that area. Just like the natural light hits your face, that's the whole point of highlighting. You want it to look like when the natural light hits your face. And that's what it looks like when the natural light hits your face. So that's what you want to give. So now, this is a new thing um, that I just started doing. I have been using liquid blush and my favorite liquid blush is Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place has the best liquid blush. I have the color, my favorite color is Pink Lady. It's the pink one. I like pink blushes. And like I kind of mix them with like curly blushes when I do my powder, but I like pink blushes. So I'm going to use this pink one, Be Berry Spares. So you probably want to do like two dots. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Keep it cute. When I say this stuff goes a long way, I'm not joking. So I'm going to take like any type of like flat brush that I could just pat this in with. I do not take none of my other brushes because I don't want this to mix with nothing else and I kind of just bring it up on the side of my sheet right there and I like it to go into my eye a little bit I love blush okay I used to not be a blush girl and then somewhere along the way I just got obsessed <laughs> I just feel like it makes you look so alive and I'm obsessed now like I feel like it make it brings so much color back to your makeup like it's not just you know you're not just sitting there with a bland face you got a little blush yeah, so I love that this liquid blush thing started because it makes my blush look so much more like potent than it did before. So yeah, y'all can see the blush get into it. 
So now I'm gonna add a lighter concealer. I'm gonna show you guys my little trick for having that bright under eye like the UK girls. I take the color Fair Warm, and this is by e.l.f. Um, this is the camo concealer, and I take it right here, just a little dab, right here. And I'm gonna let that dry a little bit because now I'm about to do my nose contour. I'm gonna take this brush. It's like a little like curved brush. It just, it's nothing crazy. Just a little curved brush. I think I got this from e.l.f. Let's see what it says. It says it's an eyeshadow brush. You just want something that's like straight and kind of pointy so you can make a straight line. So don't get too crazy. I'm going to take that other contour shade that was a little bit too light for me. Because you don't want your nose contour to be too um, dark. So I would suggest getting two shades of the black opal if you're just going like for the first time. Get one like for your nose contour that's like maybe like one shade darker than you. And then get a dark one for your... Uh, your actual contour so I'm taking this literally down the side of my nose and you want it to go down like on the side like straight down in a straight line not too much because you're going to blend it out it's not going to stay like this and take your time with this just like you did with your eyebrows take your time you want to start from the edge of the top of your eyebrow and then come all the way down just take your time y'all see that boom and you want it to like kind of come together at the end so you kind of want to bring it closer together when you get to the end so that it like ends the line if that makes sense i hope i explained that good enough if you don't really get it i would suggest keep on rewinding the video if i didn't understand something i would keep rewinding the video then i like pat down the sides so it's easy for me to blend it out like i pat down the sides with the brush and you see that my nose look a little crooked, I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, I done did something, chat. Nose contours are one of those things like, it gets better with time. You're not gonna have a nose contour overnight. And then I like to reinforce that line in the middle by taking it down the middle again, stopping it like right before you get to the end. You don't want it to be like too noticeable. So yeah. And then I just take this, and blend it in a little bit, just pat it in. Cause you still want it to be blended out a little bit. Now that my nose contour is blended out, um, I'm gonna leave it like that. Like I'm not gonna do too much blending to that because I'm gonna kind of blend, the powder is gonna kind of take away a lot of that anyways. And I'm also blending that latte in with the fair warm so it's not too, too dark. I mean, too, too light. I'm gonna put a little bit more. You kind of want to blend it with your regular concealer. I learned that trick too. You want to blend the fair warm with your regular concealer, like mix it together. So that it creates that perfect bright under eye. And I'm not going to let this dry too much. Because I kind of don't want this to be too, 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 too full coverage. Because you're blending this into the concealer you already have under your eye. You kind of want it to add to the concealer, not take away from what you already put under there. And you really only want it to be concentrated in those corners next to your nose. So... That's why I didn't do too much with this. I didn't want it to dry too, too much. I wanted to dry a little bit. You see how that looks? That looks so good. That looks like a million bucks. And then you want to take your beauty blender so you can blend out even more. Because you kind of want this bright under eye to not be so bright to the point where like it looks crazy. You want to blend it and like bring it up to the corner of your eye. So I'm blending it. And bring it up to the corner of my eye. So you see how it didn't really take away from the blush. But it added to the under eye. Because you want to keep it concentrated right in that corner. Not too much. And I like to take a little bit. Put it on my cubes and on my chin. So it kind of all comes together. Because you still want it to come together at the end. Then I'm going to take. I'm not adding no more product to that brush that I use for my blush. I'm just going to take it and reinforce the blush because I still want the blush to show through. Then I'm going to also take my contour brush. I'm not adding any more product. Just reinforcing the contour, keeping it like right here. Because you still want that contour look to show through. Like you still want that there. You still want all your products to show, okay? Cool, cool. So then I like to take the foundation brush and just kind of go down the side. Because I still want that contour to be snatched. 
I'm not adding any more product. Like I said, no more product, okay? Let me look. I like to look into the mirror to make sure everything's blended. You know, you want to get close and personal because you bought the set. So you want to make sure that you did all you can do before you set. Because once you set, it's hard to fix what you've already set. So you want to make sure everything is how you want it to look before you set. So I'm getting close and personal. I'm sorry if y'all can't see me getting close and personal. But yeah, I'm getting close and personal. Making sure everything is blended out exactly the way I want it to blend. And then I'm going to set. Another trick I like to do, I like to bring the beauty blender down the side so that it can reinforce the nose contour and make it look more snatched. Cool, cool. I like this. I'm going to set it because if I don't set it now, it's going to crease up. So I'm going to set it. Let me show you my new little. This is a new one. This, is a, this one is dirty, but these little triangle things, life changers. This is what I used to set. I used to use a beauty blender, but now I use these. Uh, let me show you guys the powder I use. This is my favorite powder. This is the only powder I use. Derma Blend. Um, I buy this off Amazon. It's the loose setting powder. I use the transparent, the original one. It doesn't use, it doesn't leave flashback for anybody. Like I have used this on dark skin tones, medium skin tones, light skin tones. If you put it on the right way. <laughs> I'm so upset about that. Wow. Y'all, I'm dropping everything. Like. That just made me mad, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to take the powder, dip the triangle thing into the powder. I blow it. Because you want to take the excess, the excess powder off of there. And you want to pat it into the skin. Literally pat it into the skin. And I might have still had too much product on there. You want to pat it into the skin. Pat it. If you pat this good enough, you really don't have to bake. I bake because I'm extra, but you really don't have to if you pat this good enough into your skin, like honestly. See how that looks compared to the other side? Seamless. And you know, good makeup, the foundation of good makeup starts with good skin. My makeup looks so good because my skin is clear. Like honestly, you don't see no bumps or nothing. It looks so seamless. It looks like a filter because my skin is clear. Like that's just the bottom line. You have to take care of your skin underneath if you want your makeup to look good. And I also take this like across my nose, but also like up the center, pat it in. I try to use less product when I'm doing my nose. And take it on the chin, around the corners. Mm -hmm. Get all of that, get all of that. Then you want to take it down the side of the cheek. So what I do is like put it on the side. And I don't blow it off because I kind of want to be able to see where that line ends. I don't want to blend it in just yet. And this is going to like reinforce that contour so my face look extra snatch. You see that? Boom. Look at that. And then you want to take it. You want to hold it flat and bring it like, you want to bring it like to the corner of your mouth. Like, is it the Joker? Who, what's that character? I don't know. But you want to bring it to the side of your mouth. Just like so. Reinforce that line. You want that line to be sharp. Okay. You see that. Boom, baby. Yeah. I'm getting excited, y'all. I haven't did my makeup in a long time, so this is making me excited. And to make that under eye look even more brighter, you want to take this. Mm-hmm. And bake a little bit. You want to bake a little bit. I don't bake no more for real, but I bake like right on the corners of my nose. You want to take it down. Take it down the sides so it bring that nose contour in. That's going to make that nose contour snatch. Okay? Okay, so that's about all. I'm going to take a little bit more on my forehead because I feel like I ain't do too much on the forehead. And yeah, that's about all I do when it comes to like loose powder. Um, not loose powder, but when it comes to the translucent powder. So now I'm going to take the contour brush that, brush that I use to you do the cream. Uh, Slow down. I'm going to take the contour brush that I use to do the cream contour and apply the powder contour. So I use two different contour palettes now. If I can find them. Okay, cool. So we got the contour palettes. 
I use the Juvia's Face Bronze Palette Medium. I want to go back and get a darker color. Because I feel like this is not dark enough for me. But I take the bottom one because I think that's the darkest color they got on here. And I press it into the side. Just like so. And this is like a subtle contour. Like I really would probably in real life. I like this better for my nose than I do for my cheeks. I like my cheeks to be darker. Take it around my forehead. Take it down the side. And yeah. And then I also use, I don't think Morphe even sells this stuff anymore. I checked because I was trying to buy some more, but I have so much because I used to do makeup. But I use the um, Glam Bronze Big Shot in the color Big Shot Morphe. I use their Glam Bronze. That's my favorite contour. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to have to start get a darker Juvia's Face when I run out of this stuff. Because I don't think they sell it anymore. And I put that for my contour as well. Like I said, I just pat it in to the sides. I really like it more so like on my forehead and my um I like it everywhere. What am I talking about? I like it everywhere except for my nose because I want my nose to be extra 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 dark. Cause the nose you want it to be a subtle highlight. You don't want it to be too too dark. So yeah, that's what I use to bronze. I use the Juvia's Place and the Morphe. And now I'm gonna do my nose. I'm gonna take a um like a small fluffy brush to do my nose. Like just something like this, nothing crazy. I'm gonna take that same color I used the first in the first place, blow it off, and then I take it up the sides of my brow. So I want it to go into my brow, like so. so you want to go into your brow? Yes. Eat that up. I'm eating that up. Yes. And that just makes the contour look more natural to me when you put it into your brow. Then I take it down the sides of my nose, following that same line, that same exact line. Like I said, if you're a real natural girl, you don't like an extra crazy beat, this is probably not for you, but I like my nose snatch. I like the super beat. So you see, I took it down the side of my nose and don't worry about this. I like to take this and just kind of reinforce the bright area and just pat it back in. And yeah, and then with that same brush, we're going to do our eyeshadow. I'm not a big eyeshadow girl. I'm going to use the darkest bronze that I use, which is the Big Shot by Morphe. I'm just going to pat it in on my eye. That's going to be our eyeshadow. You pat it in. Just pat, pat, pat. And then sometimes if I really want it extra smoky, I'll use um, Fenty. I ain't used this so long. I don't remember what it's called. I want to say Coco Naughty, Coco Mommy, Coco Mocha Mommy. <laughs> Fenty Mocha Mommy. Like if I want my eyes to be really um, bronze and I want to be really dark and I want to give like smoky, that's what I will use. But I'm not trying to get smoky. We're trying to get natural. We're going to the club. Nothing crazy. We're trying to give just, we going out right quick. Okay, we going to the hookah bar. We going to the club. We not trying to give extra smoky dramatic right now. Like, y'all, I don't do eyeshadow at all. Like, I will. I can do it. I just don't. And I like to bring it down a little bit, too. Because I don't really do um, eyeliner either. I don't do, like, I can do a wing, but it's not necessary to me. So I don't do wings and my lashes be enough. So yeah. And then you could also do like this circular motion too on your eyes. You could pat, do a circular motion, whatever you choose. Just get the brown on there. So y'all can see that. Very subtle, but effective. Um, I'm gonna have to take my lash brush again cause baby, they're bothering me. One thing about these lashes, while you doing makeup, they are going to poke you. I also like to take a little bit of that brown and put it under my eye. It brings the eyeshadow look together to me. I put it under my eye. You see that? This is eating girls. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this fluffy blush brush. Um, It's a powder. 
a powder a powder brush by real techniques it says 201 on the front it's a real fluffy big brush that's it um i like to take the volume four juvia's place blush palette these are in Ulta. You can buy them off of Juvia's Place's website. I like to take the light pink color and mix it with the dark pink. Blow it off and just swipe that across my face. Nothing major. Okay? If you're not a big blush girl, I don't know if this is for you. I am. I Now, this is my little secret. I mix it with the orange blush. Take the orange and the light orange. Put it right on top of that. This gave me like a tropical look. I don't know. And I like to take it to my eyes like I told y'all. Because honestly, when you spray, a lot of this goes away anyways. So I use a lot, okay? You might not like it. I do. Don't really care. I think it looks pretty in the end. But yeah, that's how I do my blush. It's real pretty, right? And I also, this is another trick I use. And this is like if you don't want to spend money on blush for real. I use Milani. And you can see all my stuff is really old. I use Milani. This is a drugstore product. And I also recommend this for people that just get into blush and they don't really like blush. It has like a little gold in it. So like it kind of gives you the highlight in a little bit. But not really. Like it kind of gives you a. It puts you an idea of highlight. But it's not really highlight. It has like a little bit of gold in it. Some pinks. I like to take that too. And put it on top of that because it kind of makes my cheeks glow. So I think it looks pretty. Has a little gold tint to it. And yeah, y'all probably like that's a lot of blush. But when I spray it, it's gonna look great. So now we're going to take a big fluffy brush. And usually I would say take one with nothing on it. This is dirty, but take one with nothing on it and wipe away the powder. So we're wiping away the powder on the nose. Any powder you have left, you're wiping away now. So wiping away all the powder under here. Cause we've applied like all our other powders now. And then what you want to do is take um your face color and any powder. I use L'Oreal Infallible Um Fresh Wear powder. And it's the foundation powder. Um I use the color copper is my color um right now. Usually I use sienna, but because I'm darker, copper is my color. And I take that down the size of my face. And I like push it into my face because I want it to all blend and do like a circular motion. This kind of blends those harsh lines that came from the contour. Because you still want the contour to be snatched, but you don't want it to look crazy. Then I take it like around my forehead a little bit. I also like take it like across the cheeks a little bit just in case I did too much, you know, just to blend it all. And then underneath my eye, I'm going to take that same brush I blended out and I take a lighter color, I take Radiant Honey, and I put that like more towards the corner so that it looks lighter because I like bright under eyes. Okay, y'all? I'm a junkie. I'm a fiend. So I put it and pat it right under there. See how that just bring it all together? Boom, baby. Boom, baby. That looks amazing. I'm sorry. I'm eating this face up. I wish I was going somewhere, but I'm not. And I also take the contour, like the um, brush I use to contour my nose and to do my eyeshadow, I take a little bit on the nose just to reinforce that. But yeah, and then I'm gonna take my eyeliner. I'm gonna show you guys my little trick that I do for my eyeliner. And so I take the LA Girl Gel Eyeliner. LA Girl Gel Liner in the color Jet Black. Color Jet Black. Y'all, I'm dropping stuff, I need to slow down. Okay, I dip like, this is like a lip thing, but I usually dip a Q-tip. I just don't have a Q-tip on me right now. I dip it in there. Get enough on there. Then I hold the powder puff up to my eye, underneath my eye, so I don't get it on my face. And I pull my eye down, and I just literally look up and put it on the bottom. That's how I put my eyeliner on. I learned doing this with clients. It made it easier for me to put the eyeliner on without their eyes watering up so fast. So that's how I put my eyeliner on. It's a little trick. If your eyes water up real fast, if you don't like using a pencil, this, and I noticed like liquid eyeliner, like gel liner, um, gel liner shows up more than like the pencil liner. That's why I started using gel. I also learned that when I was doing makeup, like gel liner looks way better. 
way freaking better. Okay, my eye trying to water up a little bit, but... Also, if your eye ever starts watering and you just like, I cannot mess up my makeup, take a Q-tip and just get the corners. Where you see the drops falling, get the corners. Because we will not be defeated. No siree. So yeah, I got the corners. Just reinforce that bright under eye. And then I'm going to also take, just to finish the touches, just take that brown again. Smudge it out a little bit. It's like when you be doing your makeup, your allergies and everything want to start acting up. So yeah. Okay. So this is like the end product. Not really. This isn't even the end product. Let me spray. So first I spray with Morphe. I want to try one size, but I haven't got around to it. And plus I just bought this jumbo continuous mist. I use the regular setting mist, not the dewy one. I don't like dewy faces when I go out because after a while you're going to start sweating and you're going to look dewy anyways. So stop doing that, guys. But anyways, yeah. So I'm spraying. And I soak myself. I don't play that. Okay? We will not be having sagging, drooping faces when we go out. Okay? I do not play that. And I let it, like, sink in. What Beyonce said? Whatever she said. Fan me off. Yeah, and then I'm gonna press it into my skin with that same foundation brush I used my skin tone foundation brush with. Just press it in certain areas, not too much. You don't wanna press it like where the highlight is because you don't wanna take away from that. Unless you do, if you do wanna take away, then press it. I don't, so I'm not. And so I spray, I'm kinda letting that dry. But before it dries entirely, I'm gonna take my highlighter. Oh my God, I'm dropping stuff. Oh, my stuff's so old. This is the Becca highlighter. I think they're out of business. This is Becca highlighter and Topaz. I don't think you can find this anywhere. This is my favorite highlighter. You can see it's touching. We touching metal. Like, this is my favorite highlighter ever. I don't think they sell it nowhere no more. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of this stuff. I do suggest just finding any pretty gold. Fenty has nice ones. Um, If you buy that um Black Radiance palette with all... The contour, your face powder, and the highlight in it. That has a nice highlighter in it. Just get something gold. Some people don't even use highlight no more. I do because I like it. I'm just, that's just me. Um, put it on my cupid roll. And this is also a Real Techniques brush. Um, it's a fan brush. I like this brush because the, the bristles are smaller than a regular fan brush. So, like, it doesn't do too much. Like, it does just the right amount. And I sprayed before I put the highlight on because this makes the highlight look brighter when you do that. And I put it like, I tap it on my cheekbones. Like tap it literally lightly. You don't want too much highlight. We're not in that era anymore. Let it go. We want subtle like the light just hit my cheek highlight, okay? At the highest points of your cheek. Then you want to take it lightly down the rim of your nose. And then you want to take your middle finger, put it in there. Give yourself a button. A button. Period button. But it eats up every time. I also, um, sometimes when I'm feeling jazzy, I'll take a little brush, take some, and put it in the corner. That just like, I don't know, it brings some light to the corner of your eye. It's it's pretty to me. You don't have to, but it's pretty to me. Um, and then I spray again with my favorite setting spray ever. Everything looks so old. Okay, so this is my Ben Nye Final Seal. I bought this off of Amazon. I also put this in my storefront. When I, It's called the Matte Makeup Sealer. When I say your makeup is not going to move, this is like something you could use. If you're dancing, if you're on the stage, you plan on sweating a lot, your makeup's not going anywhere. I spray this when I'm going out. Like when I'm going out, I don't know if I'm going to be out for a long time. I spray this. It has like this minty scent. It might make you sneeze. It's real strong. But when I say your makeup not moving, this is the equivalent of like when girls are spraying got to be on their face. Your makeup's not moving. Don't even worry about it. It's not going nowhere, I promise you. So I'm gonna cover my lashes because it, it does get crazy. Let me do a test right, okay. It does. Mm. I don't even know why I'm spraying this much. I'm not going nowhere. Like this stuff is potent, okay? And then I'm gonna, like I said, tap this into my face because I love this stuff. Like when I say my face not going nowhere, and I also like to hit my face again with the Morphe just because 
something wrong with me i don't know why i do that it doesn't make a difference if you do or not i just like to make sure my face is not going nowhere and i'm also like i said i love blush so i'm gonna take my blush brush and go up my face again because i love blush y'all and now we're gonna get to the lips um i would suggest wiping your lips off first before you start so i'm gonna wipe my lips off give me a second you can take your, you like your um, saliva. <laughs> I know it's nasty, but like, just take, it's your saliva. Take your tongue and just lick your lips a little bit. So it take more of the product off. Period. So that's enough for me. I think that's enough. Okay. So this is a LA Girl Perfect Precision. This is actually an eyeliner, but I'm going to use it as a lip pencil. It's just a brown lip pencil. You can take any brown lip pencil. And just line your lips. I don't really, I don't really like the overline. I like to follow my lips because my lips are already like plump. Pretty lips make these cop syringes. Yeah, that's me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like I like to take it and just follow my lips. And this is a guideline. Chat. This is a guideline for the um for the lip liner I really like to use, which is actually like a lipstick. It's the NYX Lingerie Push Up. Yeah, I think it's a liquid lip, not a liquid lipstick. It's a um long lasting lipstick. You like roll it up. This is in the color Teddy. Teddy, and then I like to add more, like reinforce the brown with this. Sometimes when you use brown for some reason like it goes away like when you know we use the um sometimes when you use your lip liner it tries to go away and I don't want mine to go away so I like to reinforce so yeah that's my lip liner routine so I use Teddy and I use this NYX eyeliner in brown. It's just a dark brown. Get any dark brown from the hair store, wherever you can find it. I use the Anastasia Naked. Sometimes I use three things. It depends how I'm feeling. But I like to use the Anastasia. This is their liquid Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their liquid lipstick um, in the color Naked. I like to put this in the middle. And I think I got this from, um, I could try to find it on Amazon. But I think I got this from uh, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They be selling these all the time, like randomly in the makeup area. And I just pat my lips together. And then I take, oh my God, this is my favorite stuff ever. Um, Revolution, Makeup Revolution Pout Bomb in the color Candy. Candy? I see somebody on TikTok post this and I've been hooked ever since. I have not used any other lip lip gloss except for this. And it also um uh, it plumps your lips too. So that's a plus. So look like you got lip injections. Period. Makeup cop syringes. It's like this pretty light pink color. It's very pretty. And I'm just patting my lips together. And then I like to take that Rihanna Fenty Heat in the color hot chocolate and then you can also use um nyx has a butter cloth called lava i put this back around the perimeter of my lip to reinforce the lip liner it looks so pretty y'all like are you dumb like could your lip combo ever no your lip combo is not messing with mine i'm sorry I'm sorry, it's just not. It's just not. <laughs> anyway, girl, I can't find a clear gloss right now, but I usually take a clear gloss, but you really don't need it. It's not necessary. And honestly, this is it, y'all. This is my final look. This is like my natural, like, I'm going out to the club. I'm not going to say every day because nobody's not going to do this every day. Like, let's be for real. But this is my go-to makeup look. Like, if I'm going anywhere important... To the club to the hookah lounge to the concert this is what i'll be doing 
And this is very doable. It's not that hard. Once you get the hang of it and get your own little like, get your own little like things you like to do, this will be really easy for you. Like, very simple, very pretty, very like, oh, it's giving B. It's giving like you did a lot, but you really didn't do too much. Yeah, I hope this helps. Everybody has been asking me for this, so this is what I do. Some people like it, some people don't. I like my under eye bright. I like my blush blushing. I like my contour contouring. I don't play. I don't play around. And yeah, this is me. This is my makeup look. I hope you guys like it. And stay tuned for more videos. Watch my vlogs. Watch my um, hair tutorial that I did with my braids. I'm going to have more videos coming. I'm just excited to take this journey with you guys. And yeah. Now we finna go to me doing some pretty faces and getting into it, period. Girl, what qualities was I looking for before? Who you settling for? Better for you than a boy, huh? I love him.